remember walking out on stage, looking at the audience and thinking, oh my God, in 20 years, they're all dead. The genre only had one audience and I wanted to create something that anyone could come see. I wanted to make something with such a high visual impact, people would be like, oh wow, I'm going to listen to what she has to say. Be Learning to walk on stilts, let's just get that out of the way, that's insane. Um, when you first get up there, your brain thinks you've got vertigo because your brain normally, no matter what, if you're on an airplane or whatever, you always know where the ground is. But for this, um, you get up there and your feet are this big, but the foot above you is this big and your brain doesn't quite know what to do with that information. So you think you've got vertigo. You look down and you're just completely screwed by what's going on around you. And then once I'd finally mastered that, I decided, oh hey, let's also sing while we're up there. I've had the assistance of some amazing instructors and other creators who've helped make this a truly homegrown production. Isabel helped me learn how to walk on stilts in one day. My singing teacher, Nicole, has kept the vocals, and I think on point, honestly, you'll have to come see to you know, judge that for yourself. Um, every other element, the stilts were made here in Perth. The costume was designed and hand dip dyed here in Perth. The music was made in a studio in Fremantle. Every single element is homegrown in Western Australia. You can come to this show with your story and your context and your experiences and project them into what's happening in front of you. Basically, I want people to come along to Waveform and allow themselves to be sucked into an experience.